afternoon, Top Nation, and welcome to TOP Be Inspired in Five. I'm Janet Bush, an elder here at the TOP uh, Tabernacle of Praise Ministry, and I come to share a word with you today uh, from the Word of God, and I pray that it's a blessing to you as it blessed me as I heard it. I want to encourage us to say the name. You know the name that God has given in the earth for us to operate through? It has ceased somewhat through many of even the believers. But I want to encourage us to get back to saying the name, saying the powerful agreement with what, what God has already said in his word. Amen. And I, I want to talk about positive agreements because there is a negative agreement as well. Anything that two people agree on or a crowd agree upon, it can happen. Uh, thinking about the Tower of Babel when the people began to say, let's build. And the Lord himself had to come down and confuse their language because they were about to uh, succeed in the negative agreement. Amen. So I want to say to us today and remind us that uh, just to get back in the agreement again, where God himself hastens to perform his word. When we agree with that which God has said, he gets in a hurry to conform what he has said. Amen. Um, I want to talk about, uh, talk, bring a scripture from uh, Philippians, the second chapter, 9 through 11, um, about the name that God has given us. And allow me to read to you from 10th chapter of Luke, 11, uh, sorry, 11, 10th, 17th verse, I'm sorry, through the 20th. And it reads, And the 17th returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the spirits are subject unto us through your name. And he said unto them, Jesus said to the people, he says, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven, and uh, I've given unto you power to shred on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm you. He said, but don't rejoice in the fact that the demons are such unto you, because the only reason that the demons are subject unto you is because your name is written in heaven. Amen? Um, and I wanted to share that scripture along with another scripture about the name. The name coming from Philippians, the second chapter, 9 through 11. And it reads also, Wherefore God also has highly exalted him, giving him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, that's that name, that's that name. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in the earth. And things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. I was in prayer and uh, it came to me a number of my sister's apartments. And the Lord began to tell me to pray for my sister. And in the dream, my sister passed out short of breath. And uh, the neighbors were calling my number to come down. And I began to pray. And I ran in the dream. I ran down to her apartment number. And she was laid out. And I began to say, I want you to speak the name of Jesus. And she could barely speak, but she said it very softly. I said, I want you to speak the name of Jesus. And she did it again. I said, come on, one more time, speak the name of Jesus. And when she spoke the name, she came alive. Amen. And I began to tell her in the dream again that I'm going to breathe the breath of life into your lungs and you shall live. And I began to do that in the dream and she came alive in the dream. And behold, the very next week, that exact same thing happens in reality. And how about the full potential, the full plan that the enemy had for her to die did not manifest because in advance, the Lord had, had me to decree that she shall not die but live. And we called on the name of Jesus, and yet today, being rushed to the hospital when I was not there, and uh, came, uh, the, I was called by the management of the building, and said, your sister was rushed to the hospital because she could not breathe. And the Lord brought me back to what he had given me to speak in prayer. He said, say the name. And that's what I'm saying to you today. Let's say the name. Let's keep the name alive, the name that carries power. Amen? The same name that the enemies are subject to in the name of the Lord. So let's not forget about the name of Jesus. Let's not forget about his word. Amen? Remember he said that no one can come to the Father except through me. That's Jesus. 
through the name that God has given. Amen. So that is my exhortation to you today. Let's say the name. Let's get in positive agreement. Uh, uh, no argument, but just what God said. Just what Jesus said. And watch God work the life. I love you. I say be encouraged. And don't forget the name. But remember, the name of Jesus works. Amen. You be blessed in the name of Jesus.